Okay, welcome back. This is part 9 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, <clears throat> we got all of our information. We started with our actual scripting for our registration process. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in an if statement. And our if statement is to check to make sure that all of our required fields are have been entered. So our required fields are the first name, um, then we have two and signs, then we have last name, and then we want um, the username, whoops, username, and then we want the email, and then the both passwords, so dollar sign password, and dollar sign re password. So I'm going to come into this echo right here and we're going to say you did not fill in all the required fields. And then just the form variable. <clears throat> so inside of here, uh, so that makes sure that makes sure that our all of our required fields have been entered. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that the password variables, the uh, confirm password and the password itself, we want to make sure that those are the same um, because if they're not then that's very problematic. So we want to say password equals equals dollar sign re password. So if the passwords are the same, <coughs> sorry, um, and if they're not the same we're going to say your passwords did not match and then the form variable so inside of that if statement we want to put another if statement and it's a lot of repetition but that's what programming is often a lot of the times um, so in here what we want to do now is we want to check to make sure that the email that has been entered is valid so to do that we're going to use the str str function that is built in the PHP and the first parameter, this takes two parameters, the first parameter is what we're going to be searching through and the second parameter is what we're going to be searching for so in order for an email to be valid it has to have two, at least two things it has to have an at symbol, an at sign and it also has to have a period so str, str and then we want to say dollar sign email and then just a period and I'm actually off screen there <clears throat> now, um, the minimum length for an email is pretty much around six characters. So, I'm also going to say uh, str len, and then we're going to say dollar sign email, and then this is going to be uh, greater than or equal to six. So it has to be at least six characters long. So. Oh, we've got the two and signs there. So that pretty much makes sure that we have a valid email entered. So inside of here we want to say you did not enter a valid email. And then our form variable. To a valid email. Okay. Uh, so after we've done that, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the username that has been entered and the email that has been entered we want to make sure that those aren't currently in use by current members because we don't want people to have the same username definitely and the same email is kind of up to you uh, but for my site I'm not gonna allow it so I'm just gonna whoops, come down the line here and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my uh, scripts folder and I'm gonna open up my connect file uh, but I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to blank out my information so I'll show you the format that I'm using for my file. Okay, so this is my connect file. All it is is four variables and uh, two actual commands. The four variables store all the information necessary to connect to the database. The server, the database username, the database password, and the database name itself. Um, so by having it everything like this and then filling in your information inside of these variables um, you'll just be able to connect so I'm not going to explain that because I've explained it in other videos and it gets gets kind of annoying so I'm going to uh, pause the video once again and uh, put my information back in and then close the file and I'll be back momentarily 
Okay, since we have our connect file set up, we want to require our file. So, uh, and our my file is inside of my scripts directory, and it's called connect.php. So, pretty simple. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a query, and our query is going to allow us to make sure that our username is not already taken. So, we want to say select. Whoops, select all there we go select all from users so our database name or our table name which is users and we want to say where username equals equals no space there sorry and this is our username variable pretty self explanatory um, so we're selecting uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to say num rows uh, equals mysql underscore num underscore rows whoops and inside of here we have our query uh, so what we're doing is we're getting we're making sure that the username is not already taken so we want to say if dollar sign num rows equals equals zero so if the num rows function returns a zero that means that the username is not taken which means the uh, whoever's trying to register it can register it uh, so if it is taken, we're going to say that username is already taken. That username is already taken. Okay, and then our form variable. So there we go. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste all of that, the entire query and the if statement, and I'm going to paste it inside of this if statement. And I'm going to indent it and throw a line down. Uh, so now what we're going to do is, really, you can use the same code, and um, this is going to be for our email. So we want to change username to email and email. So we're making sure that the email that the user has entered is not already taken. So, so yeah. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to encrypt our password. So I'm going to sort in a variable called pass. Or say pass equals md5, and then this is the password variable. Now, if you want, you could do double md5 encryption, or you could use a SHA1 encryption. To use md5 encryption, you just do md5, and then in parentheses you have md5 and then password. So just like that, which I'm actually going to do. Uh, I'm just going to do single encryption. Well, actually, I think I will do double encryption. Uh, makes it way more secure and nearly impossible to crack. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, and now what we want to do is we want to get the current date and we're going to use the date function to do that. Now I have a style that I like for my dates and I'll show you what it looks like right here. So the style for my date is going to be like June and then the day which currently it's the 19th at the time of this recording. At least I think it's the 19th, somewhere around there. And the year is 2010. So that's going to be the format for um, for my date right there. So to do that, you want to say capital F space lowercase d comma space capital Y. So that's how you get that format. And if you want, you can go ahead and uh, just Google search date in PHP. And the first one, I believe, uh, it'll take you to the official php.net site uh, with the all the parameters and possibilities for the date function. So great little resource there. Um, so after that, what we want to do is, what were our other fields? Username, password, uh, yeah, okay. So what we want to do now is essentially we want to register our user. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to scroll all the way to the top of this page. And literally at the top, before we just even have our title, I'm going to say session underscore start. So we're going to start our, our session so we can actually log users in and we won't get any errors. Um, so inside of here, we want to say, um, actually, I don't know why we were doing that. That's for our login. Whoops. There we go. Um, actually, I'm going to stop this video here. Uh, in the next part of the series, we will actually get to register our users and we will also need to uh, do our avatar upload uh, and whatnot. <clears throat> so check out the next part of the series.